What's up guys? Today I want to review my Built Techno 3.0 modular helmet with built-in Cena DW06 Bluetooth. Cue the intro. So this helmet, I've had it for about two years now. Put about 10,000 miles of riding in while wearing this helmet. Always wear your helmet. And one of the main reasons why attracted me to this helmet, other than the built-in Bluetooth, was the modular chin bar. It's got a little button here. You just press and it flips right up. It locks back into place very nicely. I enjoy this because my previous fixed bar helmet or fixed chin helmet, whatever you want to call it, traditional helmet, um, going on the highway, I could not stop and take a drink when I was sitting at a stoplight. Uh, that really, really is not fun to me, especially when you're logging long miles. It's nice to be able to take a drink. Um, so that was the first thing that attracted me to this helmet. Second thing being the Bluetooth. I like to talk to my wife a lot. Also like to listen to music. I um, like to be able to ask Siri for directions when I'm going down the highway. So having the ability to just press and hold the button and command Siri to call somebody and whatnot is very, very beneficial. Um, it does have a nice boom with the foam on it. Um, I've been able to ride with the chin bar up just at low speeds and if, occasionally I'll flip it up to take a drink and even going on the interstate, um, my wife could still hear me nice and clear. Half the time she can't even tell I'm on the bike, which is a really nice feature. Um, I've had previous Bluetooth setups where you got a lot of wind noise and a lot of interference uh, from the motorcycle and whatnot. So this has been a very, very good option. Um, it does have the double D-ring enclosure for securing your chin strap. Um, it also has the little red deal, the little snap, so you can snap this back over so it's not flopping in the wind a whole bunch, hitting you in the face. Uh, with the Cena or Senna, however you want to call it, forgive me for the pronunciation, this is not a sponsored video, as you can tell. Um, it's pretty much just two buttons to power it on. And... It'll connect via Bluetooth to my phone automatically. It's two to turn it off. Um, it's got up and down volume controls. It has a charge port on the back, which I think is just regular micro USB. Um, it is waterproof. So um, forgive me for that. Uh, it will beep at you when the battery's getting low. Uh, the center button can be used for intercom pairing. Um, you can have up to four different Santa units hooked up at once, um, which is nice when you're going down the road riding with buddies. It says it has a 0.6 mile radius. Um, I have not tested that. I don't have any other people with Senna helmets, but I think that's pretty reasonable. If you're more than a half a mile away from your buddies, you probably ain't doing something right. Uh, it does have the flip down smoke screen. Sorry, I'm not really going in particular order. Um, flip down smoke screen, the fighter pilot style really nice because not having to put sunglasses underneath your clear visor is always nice and on cloudy days not needing to put it down but it flips down nicely i've never had just got a switch over here i've never had any issues with it jamming up or not working um as well as the windscreen i've never i've only ever had one issue with this helmet and it's a very small issue i don't chalk it up to being manufacturer defect or anything like that uh the screw on this left side was loose and one day leaving the gas station i would flip my chin bar down and it got all wonky over here luckily the screw was laying underneath my motorcycle so one thing i would recommend if you do get one of these um pull that screw out put a tiny and i mean tiny bit of blue loctite on it and don't tighten it you don't have to torque it down with gorilla strength just snug it up it'll be good um another nice feature it has i don't know if you can see them from the outside but it has pin locks, clear pin locks, one on either side. If you're not familiar with pin lock, it's basically a inner shield you can put in. I'm getting the anti-fog lens, um, and all it does is it just lock, you know clips in between those two pins and hugs the inside of the windscreen. So um, I do a lot of cold weather riding, and fog is an issue. Now the vents on this helmet do do pretty good. Um, I can definitely notice it when it's cold out. Summer, not so much. Um, that's just because I, I run a little hot-blooded, but in the winter, I'll open these up, and it prevents this from getting fogged um, as much, but, and they snap close. They do have a vent in the back, too, for the vortex effect is what I believe they call it. This is a DOT-approved helmet, and it says 
it is uh, fully certified for all 50 states. Um, even, you know, I, I've never cleaned this helmet. It comes in gloss black, matte black, I think gloss white. I'm not sure about a matte white, but um, I went with gloss black, just easy to clean, um, which I, as I've said, I've never had to clean it. Bugs don't really stick to it. That's probably because I was riding on a gold wing that had a windscreen that was, you know, way up there. But um, with my new R1150 GS, that should be it's a little bit smaller. So we'll see how this holds up with bugs this year. Um, this is considered in uh, kind of an oblong helmet, um, which is nice. It definitely is easier to get on and off, especially with the flip up chin bar. I would just grab it by the straps, pop her on. Got to wiggle my head a little bit to get my big ears to settle in. But other than that, it feels nice and snug on your face. One thing you're going to want to uh, watch for is on the sizing. These run a tiny bit small. I had measured my head uh, according to their website. Um, and they told me to get a size large. Well, I ended up going with an extra large because reading all the comments um, and reviews, everybody said they run a little small. I'm glad I did because anything smaller than this would not have been comfortable. Um, and you can get it at J&P, you can get it at Revzilla, I think Cycle Gear, some other websites sell it. I went with J&P, I've just been dealing with J&P for a long time. Uh, unfortunately, they did not carry the uh, pin lock anti-fog shield, so I had to get that from Cycle Gear, but I do believe, and this is just what I think, I know Cycle Gear and Revzilla are together, I think or, um, J and P, Cycle Gear, Revzilla are all in the same boat. Um, if you look at their websites, they're all very similar. And, uh, but yeah, just a really good quality helmet. Um, I highly recommend it. It comes in at the price point. I think I paid around $285 on it. That wasn't on sale or anything. That's just kind of across the board. They're still selling this exact same helmet. Uh, they had the Built Techno 2.0 before this. was supposed to be a great helmet. Um, I went with the 3.0 just because it was the newest. And as I've said, I've, I've logged probably about 10,000 miles wearing this helmet in the last two riding seasons and it's never given me any reason to dislike it um i've ridden just over the summer for instance i rode up to alexandria minnesota from where i live in sioux falls that's 525 miles in three days i know i'm not an iron butt i know that's not a lot of miles to some people but i was feeling it by the end but i had this powered on the entire time some of the time i was listening to music some of the time i was talking other times it was just on but i had it on for that 525 miles and that was on a single charge and it never once beeped at me telling me the battery is getting dead so i mean that's that's a pretty good battery time um i think they say it's good for up to nine hours and it definitely seemed like it so um if you ever have any issues you know cena is really good to deal with as well as jnp um i highly recommend them i don't have a discount code to give you for using my name but uh hopefully someday we can get there um just wanted to share this with you Please like and subscribe if you got any value from this video. Share it with your friends. If you're looking for, like I said, if you're looking for a cheap motorcycle helmet, this is it. And it packs a lot of features. If you already own one of these, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Um, as for the future, I'm going to be purchasing and reviewing other equipment on my channel. Uh, one of the next things I want to do is get the Ram Mount Tough Mirrors for my BMW GS bike, Adventure Bike. Um, big fan of them. I've been wanting to try them. I don't have enough followers yet for them to send them to me for free, but hopefully we'll get there. I plan on making adventure bike content, going and exploring the Black Hills, doing the BDRX routes. Um, also, just, just going to give you whatever I can. Um, I love you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, Jesus is the way.